Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share an accelerating journey with you. In today's video I'm going to show you how I'm tackling an intriguing challenge, breeding my Guianacara Dacria. They've been causing a bit of commotion with my Altons due to their excessive uh, territorial behavior around his uh, hiding spots. So I decided to set up a dedicated aquarium to try uh, to, to address the issue. Let's see if it works. Maggie and Akari have been trying to breed, but it hasn't been easy for them to do it in a community tank. They have been erasing the rest of the aquarium's inhabitants, chasing them away whenever they approach their territory. Of course, I can let them molest the other fish, as they can cause stress, which will lead to disease problems, and that's not something I want to happen. So, I decided to set up a dedicated aquarium for a couple to try to give them a rest and hope that they manage to breathe. To do this, I'm going to use my hospital aquarium, which, although uh, it's not very big, it only holds 80 liters. Uh, but I think it's enough for a couple of Ganekara to breathe. If I'm wrong, because this is my first attempt, uh, please correct me in the comment section below. The material I'm going to use is a heater, a thermometer, a light and a filter. I should probably just use a sponge filter, but it's not cyclic and I prefer to stabilize the water with a Sikam Chidal 110 with cyclobiological media. Now I'm going to use most of the water from the main aquarium, which is where they are at the moment so that the change is minimal. I'm also going to suck up some of the sand because the Guinea like to dig and create their own spots. Now I'm going to fill the rest with new water. In this way, it's as if I've done a water change. It's time to put up uh, the decorative elements, which will also serve to provide security and hiding places. Now that everything's set up, I'm going to put the cyclobiological medias in and let them run in this water for an hour. It's time for the hardest part catching the Guiana Chorus. It's not going to be easy. The female was easy because she got into the cave. We'll see how it goes with the male. This procedure is never easy for me because I don't like to stress out the other fish. So, I always try to do everything very slowly 
so as not to disturb the harmony of the aquarium. After a good few minutes I managed to catch the male without apparently having stressed any fish. Here they are, still stressed, as expected, but in a very short time they will be better. Honestly, I don't know if this is the best method for breeding Yanakaras. All I know is that I had to stop the aggressions in the main aquarium and this is the way I saw to minimize it. If I'm doing something wrong and you've managed to breed them, let me know in the comment section below. And here is the aquarium with a couple. I'm leaving it uh, like this with the lights off so they can get used to the, um, the new space. In less than uh, 30 minutes, um, they already got good color and have been exploring the, 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 the space. Now uh, that everything is ready, fingers crossed, uh, to be able to breed this beautiful specimen. I'm excited to bring you more updates on the follow-up videos. If all goes well, uh, we'll observe the growth of the fry, uh, the challenges we face and the solutions we find together. Thank you for joining me on this exciting chapter of my journey with Genekara Dacria. If you enjoy this video and want to continue following our creative journey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications uh, so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Leave your comment and suggestions below and see you in the next video.